Good morning, everyone. Praise be Jesus and Mary. For today, I am going to tell you a story. A story about why the Philippines has many islands. Yes, that's it. We all know that the Philippines consists of 7,107 islands. And the three largest islands were the Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. But before that, I'm going to tell you why the Philippines ended up with many islands. Long ago, there were two huge beings named Angalo and Angarab. These two huge beings were very big that when they stuck their feet, the entire island shook. One day, when they went to the sea to gather clams to eat the meat, when they opened the clams, they have found sparkling pebbles inside. They were very amazed and astonished to what they have seen. So, they decided to go home together with the pearls. When they were on the southern part of the sea, the question of who should have more of the clams, and they ended up quarreling to each other. They stopped their feet, they stopped their feet, they throw some things to each other, and then that is when the islands were scattered into pieces. And those three largest islands were Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So you already know that there are many islands of the Philippines. It is because of Angalo and Angarab. Do you know the story of the lion and the mouse? Oh, you haven't heard that. So I will tell you the story of the lion and the mouse. But before that, let us first describe the mouse. When we describe a mouse, it is very tiny, it is very little, yet it is fast. It runs so fast, it sneaks so fast. On the other hand, when we talk about a lion, a lion is very brave, it signifies power, and it is very strong. So, I will tell you the story then about the lion and the mouse. Once, there was a lion sleeping on his den. When a naughty little mouse ran on his tail, and on his mane, and on his back, and on his head, and dance. The lion was disturbed, and he got mad and angry to what the mouse had made to him. So, the lion hold the mouse with his big claws, he said to the mouse, How dare you wake me up? Don't you know that I am the king of the beasts? Anyone who disturbs my rest deserves to die. I shall kill you and eat you. The mouse was very frightened. He was so nervous because of what the lion has said to him. He said and pleased to the lion, Please, your majesty, don't kill me, your majesty. I didn't mean to wake you up. I was just playing, your majesty. Please spare my life, your majesty. Who knows that we can be friends forever? Who knows that I could save you one day? The lion was shocked and laughed to the mouse. He said, you would save my life? What an absurd idea. Well, since you have made me laugh, I will spare your life. Go on. So the mouse ran away. He ran away as fast as he could. A few days later, the lion was caught on a hunter's snare. He was entangled. He couldn't escape, and he just roared and roared and roared until everyone in the forest heard the roar. 
including the little mouse. The little mouse have heard it. He said, My friend, my friend needs help. So he ran away as fast as he could and went to the sound of the roar. And then he saw his friend. He saw the lion. And then afterwards, he immediately cut and bite all the ropes until the lion escaped. The lion was very thankful to what the mouse did to him. He was very thankful because no doubt even the mouse who is very little can help him. So that is the end of the story. The moral lesson of the story is even the weakest person or the weakest thing can help a mightier or a powerful thing or person. So that would be all. Thank you.